are now recording. We are now recording. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be diving into my own process of how I got started in design, what type of things I looked out for, how ways that I actually learned or took that into practice into my actual projects. I'm going to walk through a couple different topics today from typography to colors to hierarchy within a particular page and particular designs that I've done in the past and reference a few of the different books that really helped me along the way to learn as I progress through my design career. As designers, we're always trying to look for different ways to find inspiration. We take various books, magazines, as well as many various web applications to be able to influence ourselves when going through that creative process. Taking in that creative juice into those particular projects you may be working on from a personal standpoint as well as a client-facing standpoint allows you to evolve your own process. Using the atlas we have available to us, we're able to take those inspirations and implement that into our own designs. Now, if you're working with a client or even working on a personal project with some friends, you're able to kind of figure out different ways where you can pull certain resources to help you inspire that. I'm gonna walk through five books that really personally helped me to understand design a lot more as I was going through school and even beyond that at the same time. The first book I really wanna talk about is really focusing on one core fundamental, which is typography. Thinking with Type is a really fundamental book that you should definitely have in your library and go through the entirety of the book to understand more about what typography is and how to implement that into your designs. Understanding what typography is allows you to visually communicate to your audience of how you want them to portray the product. So for example, something like a sports company, like something like Nike or Adidas would really want to focus on a strong, bold typeface. A clothing brand would really want to focus more on an elegant, more simplistic typeface that would really appeal more to the audience of who they're trying to capture. Understanding those two different balances when you're actually designing allows you to really grasp how to target your audience visually communicate all the different types of directions you want. Understanding how the typography is being used across the whole brand allows you to really broaden that message and communicate exactly to your audience. From there, you're able to continue to develop your brand, have a better understanding of what you're trying to gear towards, and then the rest of the imagery and everything else for the brand can be a contingent of that typeface that you've already created for at the same time. The second book here is focusing on the grid system. This was a very beneficial thing for me coming from more of a graphic design background. A lot of the time through the graphic design background we're so focused on grids but in a different format because we're so much on posters and packaging and everything else in between that we don't really worry too much about the web aspect. Understanding more about grid systems really benefits you when you're making that transition to the UI UX world. In the web format you can have to understand a bit more about how you're going to structure that information as you only have a limited viewport for someone to actually see that whereas in comparison to the print version people can see different aspects in the poster or packaging or anything else in between. At first this was a bit of a struggle for myself just because I had to understand better ways of directing that information to certain points on the page, consistently figuring out ways to organize the page, taking that information and then implementing that was a very beneficial thing that I took from this book and in the context of the web format really allowed me to better understand the organization of that information and then take that forward into all my other designs that I've moved forward with in the last few years. So this, this third book that I'm gonna talk about is from Aaron Draplin. Aaron Draplin is a graphic designer for the last several decades now. He's very famous for his very thick lines, for a use of color and very simplistic designs, uh, but a lot of the details can be overlooked at the same time. I would highly recommend that you go and buy this book or download this book and really go through every single page by page because he doesn't just showcase all the amazing logos and all the colors and all the systems he's created in the past. He really dives into more the philosophy of design and understanding all those fundamentals that you need to have, as well as understanding how that can be implemented into a web format at the same time. One great thing about this book in general, it gives us a bunch of inspiration to be able to utilize as well as various case studies and it also talks a lot about his own work himself and how he's gone through life and evolved through his own process to kind of provide us this full transparency of what a graphic designer can take from starting out and how a designer can get a first job and kind of be working through and doing their dream job and then how you can kind of transition through your career and see how it evolves through various phases of your life. These last two books here really focus more on brand fundamentals and how to actually influence not only design but also incorporate advertising and marketing into your actual system. 
So you kind of have to think about design and less about just creating some amazing visuals or anything else. You really need to have the background and the context in there for the storytelling to actually happen at the same time. So the storytelling side of things really needs to be portrayed in not only the content that you're going to share if it's on a web format or even a print format, but you also need to make sure that it's organized effectively to be able to tell that story in an effective way for the audience to understand everything that's going on. In both of these books, it really talks about a lot of the fundamentals that these individuals took to understand better about design practices and how to implement them for themselves. So that's everything from the research side to kind of compiling a lot of that information to iterating on various initial ideas and the wireframe stage and all the kind of typical aspects that we normally see. One main thing to call out is just that you need to kind of really understand more about those design fundamentals from a graphic design standpoint first. And that can be in a design school, that can be at any other university. It doesn't really have to be so specific that you need to go to art school necessarily. My own experience was actually going through a more traditional public university and learning the graphic design system there. And I had a wonderful mentor in my school and he helped me kind of leapfrog into sort of the next stage of my life of understanding those principles that I can apply into any format that I wanted to go into. I had a big interest myself in like marketing and advertising as well as design. So finding a little bit of the balance within web allowed me to understand a bit better of obviously where we stand today and how that really is coming together but at the same time like what the future is of technology as well as how design can help influence more of that storytelling at the same time. I think I was, a lot of the time right now especially is that we really look at the products that are being on display and kind of continue to be iterated and shown to the public that there's a lot of potential for design to help influence not only just the look and feel, but that storytelling aspect and that brand hole, brand hole aspect can really help influence that brand aspect at the same time. Influence that brand aspect at the same time to really leapfrog that company into the next stage of its life. A couple takeaways from this video that I really want you guys to understand is that it's not gonna happen overnight. It's no, it's, there's no simple shortcut to understand, to understand all these different aspects of design. It's really more taking the time to learn through various books, through various online resources, to have a better understanding of how to implement typography, layout, colors, etc., into everything that you do, so that as you continue to evolve into other designs that you do in the future, you can have a better understanding when someone is so that you can have a better knowledge of what you're actually talking about when you're talking to a client as well as even talking to internal teams to help portray exactly what you're talking about from a product standpoint to help push that thing forward and then that way you can continue to evolve and continue to be a better designer each and every day through learning various other aspects. <laughs> learning is such the fundamental part of design and it continues to be the fundamental part of that too. There are a lot more resources that I can definitely talk about. I'll drop even a few, I'll drop a few more in the description below for you guys to check out after this. But definitely continue to do that. Let me know in the comments below what other resources you guys actually utilize each and every day to understand better about ways to implement design fundamentals and how those principles can be utilized into each of your everyday designs. Please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. I really appreciate it and hope you guys stay subscribed to future videos to come. I will also be doing some live streams over on Twitch. The that will be in the description below. If you want to go check that out at the same time, there will be a kind of consistent schedule coming up as well so you can kind of see a bit more of the back end stuff of how I actually go about designing from various products to websites, apps and everything else in between.